Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Jackie Geisinger with the Amber Region this morning. And uh, we are here today. I'm doing a little special edition uh, from Melissa. I'm going to just call her the SMG, the social media guru. And uh, so we are super excited to have her with us today. So I wanted to capture just a, kind of a storyboard going forward. Who is Melissa? You might have seen her at national conference running the social media booth. We had to even shut down. She got so busy. She was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So we know the demand on having your Jaffra gig, your business really be socially connected. And I've really spent some time getting to know her. What does she do? And what is she doing that can do things for you? Really, she works for you. She's here to help you leverage your business potential. So um, I'm really excited because I wanted her to share what is her role? What does she do? What is she creating for us? And then how do we start using it? Um, and that's really kind of our intro today that again, we're recording this for a reason. We want to share it forward so you can share it with your consultants. Every leader can share this and start really leveraging the most amazing, fun, groovy, cool work that Melissa is a master at and why she's here with us in the Jaffer company. So without further ado, S. MG, social media guru. Take it away, Melissa. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little embarrassed now. That was quite the introduction. Um, but thank you so much for that. I feel very special now um, and super excited to be here. So this is my first chat with you guys. i um, hoping to do this more often. But um, I just wanted to give you guys a brief intro into what I do at Jafra um, and you know, even find out from you guys moving forward what you guys need more of in social media, how I can help you help your business in social media. Um, so just briefly, I've been with Jaffra for almost two years now. I started out in the worldwide team originally last year, and that's when we started to really globalize all of the content in social media. So the goal was to really create one brand where Jaffra, whether you were in Mexico, whether you were in Indonesia, you looked, we looked and felt like the same brand. So if you saw a post from any of the consultants anywhere, you'd know that was Jeffra. And that was really important for us in social media because as you know, there, there are no boundaries in social media. You can be anywhere in the world and a social media post is a social media post. If you're using that Jaffra hashtag, if you're tagging us, it shows up to the same people. Um, so it was really important that we elevated that brand um, and we really started to look like one unified company. Um, so bringing all that back down to the U.S. now, um, joining the team about six months ago, um, and I did join the team at conference in August, which was great. I met some of you guys. Um, just trying to take those tools and bring them out to the field now. So how do I help you guys generate social media content that will resonate with our target audience, bring in new consultants, um, generate interest among a millennial audience, which is our primary target on social media. Um, so right now, like this is the first conversation I'm having with you guys so I can learn from you um, and find out how to make this easier for you. But what I'm working on right now, prim primarily the last six months, has been elevating the brand on our branded social media platforms. So not JBI um, and not the social media platforms that you guys are using to communicate with each other, but more of the Jaffra branded social media pages. So Jaffra's Facebook page, Jaffra's Instagram page, uh, the Pinterest page, there's a ton of really great assets there as well. Uh, we're working on elevating our YouTube presence so you'll have more videos to share and you know, pretty much anything else you guys need. So we just opened up this conversation with Jackie to find out what it is um, to help you guys get more active in social media. Uh, we're putting out a monthly calendar, which I'm gonna start sharing with Jackie moving forward. And we're also going to partner on some other interactive activities. So if you were at conference, you probably know about the scavenger hunt. We wanna do more things like that. Um, but I do need to hear from you guys to find out, you know, is that effective? Is that an effective tool for you? Um, to engage your consultants, engage your clients? Um, what do you need more of? Go ahead, Lisa. Um, you mentioned um, you're beefing up the YouTube um, um, presence, so we'll have more videos. Um, the, the videos are great for us for learning and for sharing among each other, but um, when you share a link in your Facebook uh, uh, page, 
it drives your algorithm down because you're taking them away from Facebook. So I have been trying every which way but loose to like Jaffa creates these great little video vignettes, these little mini videos with products I would love to share, but the only way to share them is to share them. There's no way to download it and then load it to my page. And even if you put it on Facebook, on YouTube, it's going to drive our algorithm down. So is there any plans for you us to be able to take those videos and be able to share them in a format that really doesn't hurt us, our, our, our social media presence? Yes, and I love that you asked that. So the training videos that you see on YouTube, those are usually um, made just for the consultants. So they weren't um, intended to share, but the content is really great. And we have seen that as an opportunity. So we want to start creating mini versions of that. Um, so if a training is a five minute training or 15 minute training, cut it into like a three minute short. Um, that's really great for social sharing and post it directly to Facebook. So you'll have that to just share the link out and not even to the JBI page, but to Joffrey's Facebook page. So it's a really easy direct share to your pages. So we've definitely seen that opportunity because the training content is great. It's very different from what we're doing right now. So we want to make that easier for you guys. Um, and that's a great note. I'm glad I heard it from you. So it'll help me make the case to push that forward. Awesome. The only downside with sharing from Jaffer Cosmetics is you have to make sure and leave that link off because otherwise it takes people to jaffer.com instead of us. So for people who are not savvy about that, it's just driving traffic away from their own pages. So um, that's another thing to think about, I guess. No, that's a really good point. And that's, that's going to be a challenge. So one of the things with social media for us right now is we're trying to drive traffic to the page and drive that awareness is why we started probably over the last month or so, including links as often as we can so we can drive the traffic to the page. Um, but that being said, if we're seeing more engagement with the consultants um, and you guys are sharing that content more, there's it totally gives us cause to shift that strategy. Um, so that's also really good to know. And we've noticed, which is really amazing, we don't get a ton of comments and likes on our posts. We get a million shares. So our actual share engagement, I, one day I'll share with you guys the reporting that we do because it's ridiculous and very in depth, but it's really good information. Um, we will get a hundred plus shares on a single post where we get three comments. And that is an amazing engagement. Sharing is like in any of you guys who run your Facebook pages, sharing is the best engagement that you can get because then all of their friends see it. Um, so that really shows us, our assumption is that those are consultants sharing our content, which is great and wonderful and exactly what we want to happen. So the more we see that, we'll just end up having to shift our strategy to make sure that you guys have what you need, because that is number one. But us sharing that drives Jaffa algorithm, not ours. Exactly. That's why I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, unless we, but <laughs> unless we can download it and share it ourselves which you can't not, not really benefiting us it's benefiting jaffra or if they go there and then they go look for a consultant in their area we are still putting all this effort into it and driving business away from ourselves exactly. by sharing got it that's the so, hard part, and I understand where you guys are coming from because you want to drive Jaffa, you want to get Jaffa out there and sharing, and that, we get it because yes. we're doing the same thing. But we can't when we share it, we're just helping Jaffa and not helping ourselves, and it drives people away from us. So that's that's the the hard part is we understand what you guys are trying to do, and it's valuable. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I don't no, know. It sounds like you guys will need. I don't know. It's maybe we do a training, Jackie, on like downloading the images so that you can post them directly or removing the link and adding your personal link. Right. So maybe that's where we start because that's probably one of the easiest things to do to start because it's not generating your own content. We're already creating all the content for you. Use the copy. We want you guys to use everything. Um, but if it's as simple as just showing the team how to remove that, that link and add your personal link, I think that would probably be a great place to start. So can you do that right now? don't even know how to, I don't know. <laughs> I can't do that right now. Okay. No. If there's some kind of uh, um, 
there's some kind of um, privacy or fail set. It, it is, it's, you can't take it away from Jaffa right now. That's why yes. I was saying that, um, you know, that's going to be something that's going to have to happen on your end. On my side. Allow us to be able to do it. Correct. Well, the only at thing least you your photos are there. I mean, you've got them in a photo <laughs> album. So at least the share of the photos you can do, right? Because you can download all the photos. Yes. yes. It's videos, it's your link to your website, all of that. You got it. You Makes can sense. Them to your computer and then re upload them for yourself. And then you can also like just copy just the text portion of the description of the photo and mm -hmm. paste that into your new post. But that's the only way you can sidestep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so if, moving forward, if we need to do trainings, so right now, because I'm set up as an admin on Jaffra, if I try to replicate anything you guys are doing, it, I'm doing it as the admin on Jaffra's page. So it'll it won't be the same experience. So I'll have to set up another page just so I can show you guys. Um, but yeah. yes, I will we'll figure that out. Okay, that's awesome. Let me pause a minute before we go to more questions. And, and great discussion. Thank you for that. Again, it's my goal was that we help Melissa. Melissa helps us, right? So um, part two to that. Melissa, let's assume nothing right now. Let's literally talk about there's Jaffra, she said JBI, which is Jaffra Beauty Insiders, okay? So there's Jaffra Beauty Insiders and there's the Jaffra Cosmetics page, right? Could you, again, tell us the difference of both pages because I'm not sure everyone here is on both pages. And then I'd love you to share like how you create your social calendar, if you're okay sharing the visuals. I want you to see what she does behind the scenes um, and really what the purpose of both different pages are. So take that away if you would, please. Sure, um, and I just, I'll have to pull up the document so I can share with you guys the calendar. So JBI is intended to be exclusively for consultants. Um, it's our Facebook group and our Joffer Beauty, our Joffer Cosmetics page on Facebook is our consumer facing. So it's really more about branding, um, raising awareness. Again, that's why those shares are so important because we want more people to know about Jaffra. Um, we want them talking about them and then we want them to find you guys and ask you guys the questions. Um, so that's the primary difference is JBI consultant facing, consultant facing only. It's a private group. Consumers cannot see that content where um, Jaffra Cosmetics on Facebook is our, it's a, actually a global brand page. So if you look at that page, it looks like we have 2 million followers, more than 2 million now. Um, but that is globally. So that includes our followers in Mexico, our followers in Indonesia. Our followers on Facebook in the U.S. is a little over 300,000. So we are just a small portion of that um, U.S. only. And that is both general market and Hispanic market. So we need to get that up which is again why those engagements are so important. The content that you guys see on that Facebook page is exclusive only to the US. So the way that global page is set up is Mexico has their own content calendar. They're generating their own content. It looks very different from what we do. Their offers and promotions are very different um, and their launch calendar is very different. So in Mexico, if you have your settings set to Mexico and if you're Facebook savvy and you wanna go around and play around with settings, you can actually see what Mexico is doing if you change your location. Um, you can see what Indonesia is doing, but they're all in there in the same page. Just they're not seeing that content. Now, that being said, our consultants in Indonesia are extremely savvy. So you'll see a lot of our social media content for the U.S. appearing on Indonesia consultants pages. Um, Indonesia sometimes borrows our content also. So, But for the most part, what you guys are seeing is exclusive U.S. only content. So the difference in Jaffa Cosmetics page and... JBI is on Jaffa Cosmetics, you can only follow it and like it. But if you follow it, you can choose to see it first, which means it'll pop up first in your newsfeed versus just seeing it whenever the algorithm decides to show it to you. <laughs> so the, if you, even if you like a page, if you really want to see the content right away, just go up to where it says following, there's a little drop down arrow and you can click on see first. And then it will show it to you ahead of much of the other content you'll see in Facebook, which is a great little side thing. And then on JBI, of course, you have to join it. Yes, thank you for that. And then also to your point, Facebook, and you guys know so much about the algorithm, is favoring group content. So a lot of you guys may be following the Jaffra Cosmetics page on Facebook, um, but you're probably not seeing that content because Facebook is now favoring group content and personal content. So you're not going to see all the same, the same thing. So you do actively 
unfortunately, right now, until Facebook changes the game again, have to go and seek out the content sometimes. But we are posting daily, so if you haven't seen it in your feed, there's something there. And if you comment or like or interact at all with a post, it will also make Facebook show it to you more regularly. Mm -hmm. So anything yes. you do on that page to interact, just like when someone interacts on our page, um, it just adds a little bit of extra. But yeah, you're right. Groups are definitely priority right now in Facebook world. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to try as well, that's part of the plan moving forward to start integrating some of this content, um, the assets that we're creating for you to leverage into JBI, um, just so, to raise awareness so that you guys know that they're there. Um, and like you said, we're going to come up with better and easier ways for you to share or find the content that you need um, so that you can share it out in the best way for your group and for your, your clients. What's the plan for Jaffa Social? A very good question um because that has been a hot topic of conversation exactly. um i would love to hear if you guys prefer that page my gut when i saw it is again to your point why are we going off of social media to bring you back in um i, I will say that um i find way better content on jaffa the, the jaffa page than i yeah. do on jaffa social yeah. and um it's just such a variety and you can go back for years. <laughs> yeah. And um, I just, if you want asking for an opinion, yeah, um, do. put it all there. That <laughs> will drive more of us there. We will have more content. It's easier to teach it to our consultants because we don't have them running all over the place trying to find it. It's just centralized. Oh my goodness, if you want to know what we think, I don't know about the rest of these ladies, but hey. Put it on Jaffa, on, on Jaffa the, um, the Facebook page. Yeah, that's that's what we were thinking. If we took the Jaffa social assets, put them into albums on Jaffa Facebook, categorize them by maybe. <laughs> okay. My units, cat, right? We were talking <laughs> units yesterday. <laughs> Melissa and I were like, we got this thing organized. <laughs> Let's go. Um, can somebody tell me what they mean by Jaffa page instead of Jaffa social? What do you say <laughs> when you say the Jaffa page? Here, can you, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> mm, let's see. Okay, you guys can see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's one of the keys I wanted Melissa to be here is do we even know about Jaffa Cosmetics page and your team being on it? Because again, it's a client facing, it's a branding page. It's, and, and there's so much there. Like Lisa said, oh my gosh, I like totally love it every day. So again, love that question. Thank you. We didn't want to assume anything. So here we go. This is the Jaffa Cosmetics Facebook page. Yes. Okay, I've never been on it because I didn't even know where to get it. Oh, I'm so glad that you're most, on. <laughs> most people don't, not kidding. They don't know it's sitting here. So ladies, we have a big job with our team because this is amazing, okay? So thank you for that. That's exactly what we assumed based on what we're seeing on the page. So perfect. Okay, take it away, Melissa. Okay, I'm going to try to maybe close some of these 50,000 things I have open <laughs> to speed up my internet here. But so here, this is where we are talking directly to consumers. Oh, there's Susan. Um, and I am seeing a lot of the team lift these assets directly and post them to their pages, which I absolutely love um, and is wonderful. And we encourage you to do it. And the, the nice thing is here is you can share these exactly the way Jaffa Social works, where you download the image and then you repost it to your page, or you can just hit the share button. But like you said, it will direct people to the Jaffa Cosmetics page um, if you just hit the share. I love that, but it's not the best for your personal business. Um, but the copy is here as well. So it's not just the image. We also give recommended copy. Um, you'll see we post the same images on our Instagram as well. So if you're active on Instagram, we've got that copy with all of the relevant hashtags you might want to use for that content. Um, if we're posting images of Estelle, we absolutely encourage you to use those as well. She's wonderful. She's very excited to see um, how we're using her image um, and her product photography. 
um, with our consultants. You, you guys probably met her at conference as well if you were there. Um, so there's a whole variety of content, but a lot of this is aligned to what we see in the brochure. So for October, our content was, um, the whole theme was gold and making, it was our first Christmas and we had this really fun challenge of consumers are talking about Halloween and we're talking about Christmas, so what do we do? Um, so we kind of painted the entire page gold and gave the whole gold story. Uh, you'll see later on in the month, we're gonna be posting a great, like how to get a Cleopatra eye using Jaffer products, which was our take on Halloween using gold. Um, but so everything in here will align with what you see happening in the calendar, in the brochure, as soon as it wants to load. And so you also, do you have your, are you okay to share your October calendar? Yes, I am. I've got that open, which is probably what's slowing down my computer overall because it's gigantic. Yeah, I thought about that. Okay. So every month, this is how we come up with the content that we put in our calendar for consumers. So again, tying in directly to what you guys are already seeing in the brochure, what the consumers are seeing in the brochure, a lot of the promotions that they're seeing um, on the website. And every month we kind of look at the whole month at a glance of what, what that looks like, what our social take on the brochure is. So again, this month was gold. We will often try to incorporate some of our UGC and you'll see here's, here's Hannah down here in the corner. Um, here is Melissa, who is an influencer turned uh, consultant, which is really exciting. And here's Estelle. This is another UGC image with tender moments. So this will be just at a glance what our, our month is going to look like. Um, we also took that concept of gold and we needed to turn it into like an emotional story for our consumers so that it's something that they that's sticky with them, that they can connect with in social media. So we played with the golden rule as our theme for our content and our storytelling, which also ties back to Jan and Heritage, which is something else that is really doing well for us in social media. Um, so every single one of our posts will feature a gold themed image, but we'll have copy that ties back to something that is complimenting the reader or is like a positive kind of motivational inspiring thing. So it's that, um, you know, treat others how you want to be treated, anti-beauty bullying, which is a really hot topic right now. And, you know, all about self-care and self-love. So a lot of our content really follows that um, direction. Let's see if these will play. And I'm sorry if this is really slow, but we also include in here um, Instagram stories and Facebook stories that we encourage you guys to use that feature specific promotions that are in um, the brochure. So you could take this content, post it on your page and your stories and provide a link that goes directly to the promotion on your personal website. So there's men's content and then here is we post it out through every single day of the month. So the calendar has, it's the full 30 days, 31 days. And you can see here, like all of the hashtags that are relevant to this piece of content on Instagram that will help your content be found if you are using Instagram. Um, but you can see how we kind of played off that golden rule with using like the notes and the ingredients that are in the blossom, uh, the orchid blossom fragrance by turning it into like, you're not a wallflower, you're an exotic orchid. Um, you know, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So that's kind of, that was our social take. And, and it is really timely and fun. But you can see like the content looks and feels a lot different than what you're finding on Jack for Social right now. And Jackie Elves is out there. She has a question. Are you ready, Jackie? <clears throat> yeah, Melissa, I have a quick question. Did I hear you say something about anti-beauty bullying? Yes. Yeah, that's my team is talking about that right now because they're all, you know, like 18 to about 25. And that seems to be a really big thing that I never thought of because I don't care what anybody says, but that's a really big deal with them. So when I heard you say it, because we hadn't labeled it or put a name on it, I went, I bet that's what she's talking about. So that's really big with them right now. Yeah, that is exactly what we're talking about. Um, and you'll see we have a, I think it's social media post went up yesterday. Um, on our blog, oh my God, there's so many things to tell you guys about. So the Jaffer Beauty Scene blog, we did a story, um, actually Estelle wrote it for us because she's been writing stories for our blog every month on the golden rule and an experience that she had with um, 
beauty, well, not necessarily beauty bullying, but something very similar in the fashion industry. And our history at Jeffra with Jan's story um, and how Jeffra even came to be as a result of that kind of bullying that Jan experienced, it's, it's, it's in our roots. We have a really good platform to go out with that positive message. I would love to be able to do this in a bigger way, bigger than just our social media at some point. Amazing. Um, good. Yeah. So this is, this is just a start, but um, absolutely. Like if you Google it right now, there is a, a ton of content out there about just like you guys have seen it, the negative comments that people will leave on a YouTube video um, or things that have been happening forever where people see these beauty influencers with their makeup on and then they see them without their makeup on and they're just like, they're hideous and they just say horrible things to people like with no shame as if they're not speaking to humans. Um, I, I I'm sorry. Um, I, I found out recently that there are groups with thousands and thousands of members that are dedicated to teaching them how to bully. How to? How, how to bully, how to shame, how to even in teaching them how to infiltrate groups so they, they can get in there and do exactly that. There are groups teaching you how to bully. Wow. And, yeah. That's terrible. Okay. Yes. That's, that's terrible, but, oh, that is really disappointing. I can't believe that even exists. Um, so it sounds like we've got a little army on board over here, people who may be motivated to help crush that. Um, so October was our, our first kind of venture in that direction. Um, but I think it's working, it's working really well. Like we're seeing really positive response to it. Um, and this, these are the kinds of things that, you know, I, was, I reached out to Jackie about originally, like if we're doing this on our larger social media messaging for the, the client, uh, the consumers, how can you guys use that for your, your clients and for your social media messaging? Or how do we maybe turn this into a challenge, um, you know, to you tell somebody something nice today and tell us about it? Um, that kind of thing. So how do we get you guys involved in this similar messaging? and Again, like if we didn't open up this conversation today, you may never know that this was what we were doing in social media. And right. it's such a tiny piece of our, our communications right now. It's growing, it's growing. Um, but it is, it is a very powerful piece. Um, and it's got a lot of opportunity, especially with the team behind it. Uh, so just a, a couple of things for you, Melissa, that maybe we could review again. So we have this page um, you know, a wonderful place for us to have content, to even invite clients who already know you, you have that relationship, right? But you're building the brand and letting Jaffra do the work as well, right? Because you also do not just kind of the education slash um, beauty tips. I, I love, by the way, your Cleopatra eyeliner. It reminds me, Jackie, of your Sarah out there in Yuma. Um, yes. I love it. I can't wait. It's so <laughs> her and her eyeliner. Oh my gosh, she made me crazy. I loved her makeup. So yeah. yeah, show the Cleopatra, which combines again, a little bit of Halloween slash beauty. Um, but I, I think again, our goal that I'm hearing, there it is. Look at this. Sarah's going to go crazy on this, right? Is if we, right? Oh my gosh. Yes. Super yes. cool. Like I'm going to go play with that one. So I think the cool thing is, this is why I wanted this page. Tell us what else you do on this page, Melissa, with giveaways and drawings. Yeah, so that's that's the other side of the business. I mean, there's there's influencer, and then there's um, user generated content and engagement um, are some of the things that we're driving. So for engagement, and primarily this is on Instagram, but we're going to start doing this on Facebook also. Is we've been doing for for August, for example, for Jubilee, we did a weekly giveaway on our Instagram page where we require people to tag their friends, tell them about Jeffra, leave a comment, you know, different kinds of ways to enter um, to win a, a full-size product of some kind. Um, during Jubilee, we gave away a full revitalized set. Um, we also did individual um, eyeshadow palettes, or we did a Galaxia line this month. And what's so valuable about that is we don't have a Sephora, we don't have a, a counter at um, a department store where people can actually touch our products. 
Um, and you probably know from working with your clients from having parties or even you know, having your clients recommend the products to someone else is that word of mouth, that recommendation is the most valuable thing that we have. Um, so the best thing for us in social media is to get our users to talk about using the products. And the easiest way for us to do that right now on Instagram, because we don't have that reach, is to give them the products. Um, so creating that demand with giveaways, um, put, posting it up there, tag your friends, tell your friends about this um, for a chance to win, and then giving them the products. And the most amazing thing is that when we do give the products, we hear back from them right away of absolutely love this, especially with the lipsticks. This, and you guys probably hear this all the time. This is the most amazing, creamiest lipstick I've ever used, the liquid matte lipsticks. And we then have a follower for life. And a lot of the times those people will come back and buy from us, but they're also talking about us all the time in social media. So you'll see a lot of repeat offenders in the feed when we have our UGC incorporated into our calendar, because these are people that we've given the products to who are now job for lifers. So it's a great opportunity for you guys if someone's been a little hesitant about trying something or like making the investment in something like, um, an eyeshadow palette because they are a little pricey, um, you know, to encourage them to go engage for a chance to win. Melissa, can you say what UGC stands for, please? Oh, <laughs> yes, sorry. Um, so UGC is user generated content. So one of the things that we look at um, on the page is who's engaging, who's talking about Jafra, and who's taking images of their products um, or the looks they create with products and posting about it. I can actually show you guys what some of that looks like too on our Instagram page. We do incorporate it in our feed. We probably feature about four UGC, user-generated posts um, a month. So someone on their own was inspired to talk about a Jaffa product, snapped a photo, um, and posted it on their social media. It, if you guys came to conference and you played along with the scavenger hunt, all of the content you were creating for us using the Jaffa hashtag, that was UGC. That was content where you were talking about our brand, you were generating it on your own, inspired by the scavenger hunt, but still completely organic. Um, and you were talking about our brand, so it's user generated. So I'll show you in our tagged photos on Instagram. Here's Indonesia. We're into, oh, look, it's Jackie. <laughs> this is amazing UGC. This is the kind of stuff that we love seeing. So, and yeah, Jackie is great at this. Thank you, Jackie. Um, but that is an example of something we see, but we also see things like this popping up. And this makeup by Cell is a makeup artist who I have handed product to in the past. And we had featured her so many times on our calendar um, because she was creating these amazing looks using our products that I had reached out to her one day and said, I want to fill your makeup kit. Like you're using us all the time. What do you need? And um, I just sent her a handful of products to finish off her makeup kit. And she now posts about us every month, multiple times. She uses the products on herself. She absolutely loves our lip glosses and lipsticks. Um, and she uses our products all the time on her clients. So we see that happening all the time. We had some really amazing Halloween looks come up this month. We'll be sharing those um, on Instagram later on in the month. This is, I don't know if this is one of our clients or if she's a consultant, but she posts about us all the time. Her content is amazing. Just beautiful. We feature her in our Instagram stories a lot. Men in masks, again. Um, other really great content that we see popping up. Oh, I don't know if you guys have seen Lewis the Barber show up on our Instagram stories, and I can't show you him here. I love because him. He's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> right? You right. Right. He's a consultant. I only found out recently. I did yeah. not know he was a consultant. I tried to sponsor him. <laughs> he was <already> a consultant. <laughs> Who has him? I love him. No, I didn't ask. Yeah, he's he's right here in California. I'm like, we need to go to do a field trip in his to his barber shop. But he uses Royal Men. He was using Boost products originally. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't know he was a consultant. And I reached out and I was like, I'm gonna send you some men's products, okay? Um, turns out he's a consultant and he's kind of made his own blend of products that he uses. And I think mm -hmm. we had a, an offer in the brochure with the eye cream with the Royal Men 
um, kit, and he started using the eye cream in the most interesting way. But he was making these tutorial videos of like the steps and like the process of putting the, the product on his own face, but he also uses it on his clients. And he's another one who absolutely encourages us sharing his content. Um, he will take our products and do tutorials um, with apprentices. Like he has barbers apprentices who come in and he trains them using Royal Men. He's really incredible. Um, but this was someone also that I didn't know was part of our Jaffer family and I stumbled across him through social media because he was creating, here he goes, creating content using um, Jaffer products. That's so cool. We love his hot, um, what do we watch, Jackie? His hot beard? Yeah, we shave. watch the, the hot towel and shave. Oh. And I have a place here in Yuma, you guys, called The Barber Shop, where one of my friends works, and they're going to do this. I asked her if they could replicate this, and they were totally jealous, and they want to try it. That's and Janice, Janice Todd, you go out there and do that already in some of these barber places, and uh, then he does this video. It's, it's like spot on. It's amazing. Yeah, like the music and everything that he uses, he yeah. is, he's on his game. He's so good. Oh, my gosh. It's so cool. So um, to kind of wrap this up, so let's kind of circle back to a couple of things. Um, so I'm going to ask you just a couple of questions, then we'll kind of move forward from this segment for today. One is, um, and again, I'm going to assume no, no one knows, what is the purpose of all the hashtags and how do we continue with hashtags ourselves, Melissa? Hashtags were a hot topic at conference. Um, I think I could do a whole day just on hashtags. Um, so hashtags, if you're active on Facebook, definitely not the most important thing unless your pages are public. If your pages are public, hashtag away. If your, if your pages are private, um, it, they're nice to have, but they're really not important. People are not going to discover them you using hashtags. Um, so the primary, primary purpose of a hashtag is it's almost like a cataloging tool. So you know how you go into Google and you search for things like, I have a cold, I do have a cold right now, mm -hmm. and I type in my symptoms and all these articles pop up. That's kind of what a hashtag does. So we post all these beautiful pictures, but the only thing that the, um, the little search bar on Facebook, on Instagram, even on Google, it's the same thing with any content you create on the internet. Um, the only thing they can actually crawl or search are the things that are in your copy. So the things that you're writing along with your images. So if you post something that's a beautiful lipstick and you don't use the word lipstick to describe it in the copy, it's not going to show up if someone's looking for lipstick. Mm -hmm. So if, if you don't have a reason, if you're like, I'm at my prom and I look really beautiful and look at my makeup and you never use the word lipstick and it doesn't make sense for your story, for your sentence that's going along with that image, make it a hashtag at the end. It doesn't have to be part of your sentence, but it makes that content searchable if someone is looking for lipstick. So if you go to Facebook and your posts are public, if you go to Facebook and you look up for the hashtag for conference, uh, Jeff for conference 2019, you will see all the public posts that people posted about conference, whether or not they use the word conference in the actual post. If they put zero copy with the image, but use that hashtag, it will show up in search. And that's why it's so important that you're using them if you're using public pages like an Instagram page, or if you have a public Facebook page. Because if someone's looking for Jaffra, if they're looking for a consultant near them or whatever it is, Facebook is gonna favor people who in those search bars who are nearby in, um, in geography, or if you have mutual friends with. So if you're using those hashtags, hashtag Jaffra, hashtag Jaffra consultant, hashtag beauty, makeup, lipstick, whatever it is that you want to show up for um, or be known for, if someone's searching for that in their feed, you will pop up. You will pop up higher for people who are nearby you um, in geography, and again, people who you share mutual contacts with. Otherwise you're competing with everyone else in the world, but that's really where they're important. Um, and don't shy away from using as many as you want. Um, there are a lot of theories on how to use hashtags, um, whether or not you should be using maximum three. A lot of brands have that, um, that theory, but right now while you're building your businesses and you want to um, be found, use, use as many as you want. And you can get creative with them, but the more creative you are with your hashtags, the fewer people that are going to find that because someone has to look for that absolute specific term in order to find that piece of content. So you kind of want to do, do both. And you'll see in social media as a brand, 
our hashtags go in two different ways. We use a lot of general hashtags like makeup, beauty, makeup artist, um, so that we can jump into those existing conversations. But then sometimes if we wanna track something very specific like Jaffer Conference 2019, that's something that we know that only the people who are participating are gonna use and it's gonna help me find you guys and your content so that we can track it. So there's, there's two different purposes. So if you wanted to do a contest with your fans and followers and you wanted them to use a hashtag, make it something that you know that everyone else isn't going to use, so it's really easy for you to track. So there's there's two different different sides, and there's probably a much easier way I could have explained that, and I'll put it in a document for all of you guys, so it's but super it's, clear. It's true, we've done like a paint it purple contest, right? Like post mm -hmm. your pictures, so if you use the hashtag, we can go Google hashtag paint it purple 2019, mm -hmm. and we see everyone who did that, and that's our contest entries, right? So, and then we choose, the post to win so you said it perfectly it makes total sense it's it's really a search a public search option that betters your business and and again creates that so secondly um tagging so like jackie was there on instagram right or let's say we're tagging onto the jaffra page maybe you do something on your page and you tag jaffra cosmetics tell us about tagging how does that help you how does that help us is there anything you could recommend with tagging? Yeah, there, there are a couple of things there. Um, whenever you're using images that don't belong to you, absolutely must tag. Now, if you're using the Jaffra images, you don't have to tag us. I love it if you tag us because then I can see your activity um, and it also helps raise awareness for our branded Jaffra pages. Um, but by all means, please do not feel like you have to. But if you are lifting something like Lewis the Barber, or if you're using Estelle, the right thing, the proper thing in social media is to make sure that you, you tag that person in the content. Now, that being said, if you are not going to tag Jaffra in your images, you might still want to use the hashtags. So if you're not going to actually put the tag, use the Jaffra Cosmetics hashtag to make sure that you guys show up in content about Jaffra Cosmetics. Um, and again, I don't, I don't want to say I'm not competing with Indonesia, but our consultants out there are really loud and they make a lot of content using even our Jeffrey USA hashtag. So I would really love to like take that hashtag back, um, you know, and have the US have a real presence on social media to compete with them. All right. And then in summary, from the Jaffra Cosmetics page that we have, for all of them here, what again is the best benefits to that page for them and what else can we do to create again more engagement more awareness just give us that summary to today i wanted to just at least bring that page to awareness because we have beauty insiders but we know that's private so give us again just a, our best practices for us to be more engaged with it and or utilize that as a branding for us and for the company, all in one as a team. Yeah, I would say the best resource of the, our, our social media pages are a tremendous resource for content for you guys. Um, and I would say first and foremost, that is the number one. Um, we have an agency working on those images. Everything is branded and approved by compliance. So you don't have anything to worry about in using that content. We own that content again. So there's no rights or usage concerns. We encourage you to use it. That is there for you to use as a resource for content to promote your business to your clients. So please take it in whatever which way you want. But again, if it's any kind of, if it's an image that is not a Jaffer owned image, if it's a UGC image or an influencer image, just make sure you're giving that person credit. Um, and I saw a question about using repost on Facebook. You absolutely do not have to use repost um, when you repost our content. If it comes from Jaffra, if we own it, you can, you can have it. Um, and you should use it and use it as it is, as it is, it is your own because you guys, we're all one company. Um, so that I would say is our number one benefit. Um, number two is on th this is our consumer page. So this is where our consumers, potential clients are engaging with the brand. So we don't necessarily encourage people to post their personal links on the feed in the comments because then it just, it becomes very overwhelming for consumers who aren't familiar with MLM um, or don't work with a consultant yet. 
but it does give you opportunities to find people. Um, there are people asking questions about products, um, color recommendations and things like that all of the time. Um, and it's a great place to start conversations with people you may not have had a connection with before. Um, so we 110% encourage you to jump into those conversations, um, engage with the people who are commenting, the consumers that are commenting, um, again, sharing the content, encourage your clients, if you are inclined to do so, to participate in any of our giveaways or contests, um, because that is product and prizes that, that come from, from us. We handle all of the fulfillment and delivery, um, and it's just, it's there as a benefit for you guys um, to encourage trial or to even gauge interest. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool to see how many people were vying to win a revitalized um, ritual, because for us on Instagram, we didn't think our, our skincare content wasn't performing nearly as well as color. But then once we put the ritual out there, I had people calling customer service to find out how they could win this. It was insane. Um, so yeah, I would say just lift as much content as you can. Um, and if you have questions, I'm 100% reachable over email. And a few of you guys have added me on Facebook and have popped me up and asked a question here and there. Um, and I encourage you to do that as well. I'm happy to help any way I can. Melissa, cool. what is your what is your last name? Because I only know your name is Melissa. So how would we contact you by email if we don't have your last name? That is a very good point. Um, it's Pardo, P-A-R-D-O. Okay. And that's, that's my name on Facebook if you want to find me there. And my email is Melissa underscore Pardo at Jaffra.com. I know all the, the, the end handle. I just didn't know your last name. And I'm, I'm also the person on our Facebook page and our Instagram. So if you direct message any of our social media pages, you'll also get me. Well, this has been eye-opening to me because I never have used Jaffra's Facebook page because I just didn't know that I mean, they always kept telling us, go to Jaffer Social, go, everything's on Jaffer Social. And this has been for years. And yeah. now this is a big eye opener to me because I didn't even know we had that. Exactly no, I'm, I'm why so we did this. Yay! Thank you. And I <laughs> Melissa and I are like, okay, we got to roll, right? <laughs> okay, so, you know, can I just ask one last question? The people that you're sending these gifts to that are engaging with Jaffer on Instagram, how do you connect them with a Jaffer consultant? Because they cannot become a consultant through Jaffer Cosmetics. They have to be hooked up with a consultant. What's the next step on that? That's a really good question because we haven't actually taken it to that step. Um, so Melissa Smith leads. is the first influencer that I actually converted into a consultant, which was really exciting. And that's because the conversation continued going over private message. Um, and, and I mean, we, we built a relationship, which is probably exactly how you guys work. Um, so yeah, it would, it would have to be the same thing, figuring out how we take that to the next step. And that's, that's a really, Jackie, maybe we should figure that out because I do get all of their contact information when we send them um, a prize. We, we get their shipping information, obviously. So if I share that, maybe there's a follow-up that can happen. Yeah, we definitely, um, this is exactly why we're going to be working more and more with Melissa because now that she's, you know, kind of inundated into her role and, you know, put in there and we're seeing what she's doing, um, you know, we're going to do more like scavenger hunts with Instagram to different things. She's got some great ideas and you all know, like our brownielocks.com calendar, right? With all the cool days, posting ideas, her and I are going to start to merge together um, and create our, our Amber Region calendar is going to shift really quick because we're just going to have a training one, but then we're going to do a social calendar. So we're going to actually conquer and divide everything because she's very similar. We, she has that same, hey, it's National Freedom Day, or you know, we're seeing a lot of similarities, but we're going to merge it together. So we had that aha moment. Every time we're together, she's grabbing these aha moments, right? Just what Lisa and Lori started with right away. Carol, great question. So we're going to create that. We're kind of this pilot team, right, that is working with Melissa, hands on, to really look at little gaps. We're going to find the gaps, and we're going to close that hole. Just like she said, how are we merging social? com into Facebook instead? So every month, 
um, we're committed to that, to us talking, finding out the needs, filling the gaps and creating systems based on your needs, right? As well as the expertise that she brings us. So perfect questions, absolutely. We have that in our little bucket list um, as well that we're gonna be working on. So go ahead, Lisa, we'll take one more question. Well, um, one thought and then a comment. Um, the, the thought was um, when you were talking about hashtags, there is another, um, reason to use a hashtag and that is for your own personal branding for instance i know jackie alves is before and after with jackie that's her personal brand so a hashtag on that would be would be very helpful and she's really building it building it so if you're serious about doing your business you need a personal brand hashtag i'm is boss lisa so we we drive those um, the other thing I was going to say was, I didn't know where the change was coming from, Melissa, but I immediately noticed the change in the copy. With the cute play on the hashtag, such as the one on October 5th with the hashtag Autumn, I mean, you have been doing a great job. I, I didn't meet you at conference, even though I was there. I didn't meet you, and I didn't know who was creating this cool new play on words with the hashtags, but my God, girl, you are the bomb. Yes. Yes. SMG, social media guru, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you like that. Those, yeah, the puns, they're so much fun. And we have a, I have a new copywriter on my team. She's young and she's, she actually used to write for the action um, brochure that, that you guys get. And we brought her onto the social media team and she's very young and she's very like um just hip to like what's going on in social media and, and what people are and at the minute i told i was like i really love puns please don't shy away from puns and she just ran with it and they're love great them. right yes yeah. love them. tell her to yeah, keep I'm gonna tell her. she's gonna love to hear that she was like are you are you for real are you serious i'm like yes do it do it <laughs> go for tell it. her the feel loves them we yeah. love them we love that's them great that's amazing feedback i'll let her know yeah, that's awesome. So what we're going to do going forward is that's our goal to keep bringing you, um, Melissa, again, for us to really engage and, and do this together. It's a we team effort, right? And uh, again, give feedback. So thank you for all of that today. We, we didn't really come in with the structure. I just said, hey, can you talk tomorrow? Let's start it. I don't want to wait. Um, so we appreciate that. What we will be doing in the future because some of you may be really good at it, but is it multiplying into your teams, right? That power of how do we get them doing it? You know, imagine your whole district or branch really just imploding with this. So um, what we're going to do is this is helping Melissa and I as well, um, you know, find some training opportunities. What are those little seven minute videoettes that we can train to? So we're going to add her into our Amber Region page. Lori and I are gonna make her an admin. Lori doesn't know, but that's okay, she gets it. Um, so that, again, Melissa can go live. And maybe we're gonna do a social media challenge of the week, and she's gonna come on, and she's gonna go just to our Amber Region. We're testing this, okay? We wanna see what is helping the field, and then we'll, you know, again, go from the general market and the Hispanic. But we're going here first with all of you. Um, and Hudita has given us our blessings to just say, let's try this, let's learn, so we know what to keep delivering. So she might come on live and say, all right, I'm going to teach you today how to open up an Instagram account. And what's the difference from Instagram to Facebook? And why do you want both? So she'll come on, she'll maybe do her, you know, five to seven minutes of learning, but then she'll challenge them and say, so from my Facebook live feed here today, post throughout the next seven days till I'm back and let me know you opened up your Instagram account, right? Or, you know, again, you're already on and why you love, you know, um, Instagram. So we want, again, we have already our group on the Facebook Amber region. So we didn't want to build another page. I said, well, just come on and be our admin and you can be our social media driver with weekly challenges, weekly drawings from our consultant page. But then again, going in and using that page to engage them, to get them to do the small little steps, teaching hashtags, teaching why tag, teaching Jafra, you know, cosmetics page, all those simple things. So your feedback that when we have her, um, you know, or messaging her on the Jafra cosmetics page, 
really is important. So I hope you like that. It's kind of what we came up with to at least let's roll. I don't want to wait till we got modules ready, all that. We're going to just play and practice and grow and learn together. So how does that sound to all of you? Yay! Okay, Melissa, I think we're getting there, right? So um, she again will be popping in. Um, we'll grab some of the recordings as needed. We may use them, may not, but we just wanted to kick it off with you and not wait a minute, a day. So I know she's home under the weather. Um, she's been ill and they've had fires everywhere out there. So you can imagine the air in California. So we're grateful that we were able to have you very quickly, Melissa. Thank you for giving us uh, your time today while you're home not feeling well and nursing all of the illness. Um, and thank you to all of you participating today in this segment. Stay tuned. We're ready to go now because this is the season to socially be out there. As much as you're out the door, we need to be online. So um, again, thank you again, Melissa. Anything you have before we go? Um, no, this was really great. Thank you guys so much for welcoming me um, into the team. And I look forward to working with all of you guys um, more closely. And again, just keep the ideas coming because the more I learn from you, the better we, we're gonna get at this. You got it. Thank you so much. All right, bye, Melissa.